Hi. So this is the sign we're going to make today. Um, I guess it's kind of like a xylophone uh, slash mallet sound. Um, not too difficult to make. Let's just turn off all the effects first. Um, so for oscillator 1, sine harmonic 1. Uh, turn wavetable position all the way to the right. And turn on OS2 and go down to Digicook 1. And turn this one all the way to the left. And the intensity about 3 quarters of the way up. Then we want to turn on the filter 1. Make sure it's a low pass 4. Um, and turn the resonance all the way down. Then we'll set up a uh, filter envelope. So I'm using envelope 2. We have the attack all the way down, level all the way up, decay point to the D, and the sustain level all the way down. So I'll click and drag that to this box and set it a little like mine. Um, once we've got that, we want to turn on the effects. So reverb, um, turn a dry wet all the way down for now. And on the size, um, set it to about halfway. And set these two to taste. Then go to uh, Dimension Expander. Set the dry wet to about a quarter of the way. And the size all the way down. Um, then we want to turn on the Frequency Shift. Which, we'll turn the, for now, turn the dry wet all the way down. And set the pitch to about three quarters of the way up. Um, and now turn on the noise oscillator, color all the way up and amp all the way down. So now we want to set up a envelope for our noise. So envelope free, click and drag over and set it as follows with the attack all the way down, level all the way up, decay just over a quarter of the way up and sustain level all the way down. Um, which this is basically just adding a sort of transient hit to the start of the sound. Um, so once we've got that, I want to go into the effects, uh, pick a macro and assign it to the dry wet on the reverb. Uh, click and drag up like so and set it to taste. And for the frequency shifter, we want to put another macro on the dry wet here. Click and drag it and set it to taste. Um, this will just add a sort of more metallic sound, as you can hear. It's without. Um, then we want to go to envelope 4, which is our amplitude envelope. Uh, set the attack all the way down, level all the way up, sustain, uh, decay, point into the Y, and the sustain level all the way down. And so you should have something um, like this. Oh, uh, one other thing, you want to go to the voicing tab, make sure it's set to monophonic. Uh, Unisono voices set to two. And in the else tab, you want to make sure the glide is all the way down and the restart via gate is enabled. This will just restart all your oscillator uh, voices at the same time. So that's the sound. Um, it, one thing you can do is play it in different registers. Um, for example, it sounds kind of cool lower down. Also, if you go a bit higher up, it sounds a bit more bell-like. So that's it. Uh, hopefully that was a, a useful tutorial. If so, please leave a like and subscribe.